Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And for today, I would like to unbox this Alpha Max SkyTube Premium Love Monsters 001 figure of Goblin Kun. So we have here a very small box because the figure is very small. Uh, and it says right here at the top Alpha Max. And this is from SkyTube Premium. Manufacturer is Alpha Max. So Love Toys instead of Love Toys, it is Love Monsters number 001. Goblin Kun. So here's the back of the box. And the side. Same on the other side. And the top and not much at the bottom so yeah let's uh, this is a pre-owned item I got this because uh, I am army building some goblins uh, you know just in time for the ongoing airing of the second season of Goblin Slayer uh, you definitely need some goblins for your goblin slayer. So here's uh, in the clamshell figure. So we've got the uh, three extra pair of hands. And yeah, this is probably to represent the member. So let's just open it up yeah it's a good figure and yeah looks good definitely similar to the goblins as uh, uh, yeah, Goblin from the Goblin Slayer anime. So yeah, here he is with his tongue wagging. And I believe the eyes are closed. Nicely painted, even it's a small figure. You got some shading on the top of the green paint. Yeah. so let's go over the articulation on this one head is on a ball joint I won't force it it might break looks like a figma joint here yeah you can look left and right he can't look up that much very limited but he can look down very well yeah he can bow his head very well yeah so the shoulder has a ball ball joint i think single ball joint there and then a single ball joint again, a hinge, ball hinge on the elbow. Let's be very careful as the joints are probably fragile for such a small figure. Yeah, and a ball hinge on the wrist as well. Mm. There's no torso cut there, and there, but there's a waist swivel. And then we've got a ball, ball joint there on the legs, thighs, I mean. And then we've got a sort of single hinge. 
for the knees. So right. And then a ball hinge on the yeah, for the feet. Uh, you, there's no ankle rocker. You can just move it up and down. This part, the leaf, you can replace it with the uh, yeah, and then I think this this one represents a member male member but looks like a peg yeah something like that yeah, but it won't fit in so i'll just put the leaf back So, overall, I like it. It looks very much like the goblin from the Goblin Slayer anime. Eh? And, yeah, uh, the only thing lacking on this one is some accessories. I like a club or an axe or a blunt sword, but overall appearance looks good paint yeah, very decent with some shading and the way he looks it's yeah, definitely a goblin so let's measure this guy if he can stand straight So he is around uh, yeah, three point seventy five inches or around nine point five centimeter nine point five yeah so a yeah, very very small. So, for the hands, I think we've got a middle finger hands here, and then uh, two finger, uh, you know, for very sensitive, you know, if you know, you know. And then there's a weapon holding hand. The one on the goblin coon is a open palm hand, relax hand. So yeah, at least we've got a weapon holding hand if we can have some more weapon. Anyway, uh, I bought the Daiki one, the Daiki Kogyo goblin sun. And so he got some weapon there that I can share with this goblin coon. So for comparison, here is the Mythic Legion uh, goblin, deluxe goblin army builder. The Mythic Legion one is, yeah, in uh, armor, very unusual for a goblin. And yeah, this one around at least 5.75 inches, but on the top tip of the horn is six inches yeah, but around here on the top of the helmet is 
14.5 centimeter. So, yeah. Trap is a turtle shell shield, I think. I think this is turtle shell. So, yeah. There you go. So, if you want a goblin figure, I guess this is a good representation, even though he is very small. Yeah, but the way the, the look is definitely a goblin. So, yeah, highly this figure is highly recommended. So, Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next unboxing. Bye!